This is my version of this pudding and it's not traditional. I use leftover rice. As you can see, it is already cooked. This is about maybe two cups total. And using the rice cooker, I've got it set to cook again. And if you notice, I'm not measuring again. This isn't a recipe so much as trial and error and playing with stuff and and no wrong way really. See, it's already cooked. Ah, but you're asking, that's water. I'm just making a gruel. Yes, I am. Simple enough. A little bit more water because I want to get that really creamy. Now rice and butter goes well together. There's my butter. And I don't always have milk, but I always have powdered milk. about this I'm going to use a quarter cup of sugar. You may want to use more. I don't normally make my stuff. In fact, I don't think I'm going to put that whole quarter cup in there because I don't really want it that sweet. And just got some rice stuck on the bottom. I'll add vanilla and anything else I feel like toward the end. But that's it. I've had to press the cook button from warm, but even on warm, see it's bubbling. I did that like twice after the initial, you know, cutting it on. And this is a little rice cooker. This is, it does three servings. I like that it's stainless steel instead of the uh, Teflon coating inside. And I like to eat my rice pudding while it's still warm. There's not enough desserts that are served warm. Uh, most are room temperature or chilled. And that's it. I don't think it gets any easier than this recipe. And I already have to clean the pot from cooking the rice in it, so win-win. Thanks for watching.